Hi guys, so I'm here to share with you um, the different colors of the Lawn Fawn inks stamped out. So hopefully this video won't get too long. I already got ink on my paper. So, um, I'm going to start out by using the um, Sunflower ink. And we're going to see if these stain the stamps. I know I had a question um, the other day and asked if they stained. So I'm not sure. I haven't tried them out. I just opened them up. And I know the Simon Says Stamp and the um, uh, Hero Arts ink does stain your stamps. Which, if you don't like them stained, then I wouldn't recommend using those dye inks. To me, it doesn't bother me because it doesn't ruin the stamp. But, um, anywho, let's just get started. So here is the Sunflower. Lawn Fawn ink, and this is the pretty yellow. You can see how pretty that is. I love that color. So I started with a fresh, clean stamp. Never been stamped before. So as you can see, I don't see no staining, just wiping it off with a baby wipe. Now, I have noticed as well that there is, I do have a favorite um, stamp cleaner, and I'll share that with you as well. So this one I'm going to use, or stamp out, is the Fake Tan, which is an orange. So let's see if this one stains. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some of that Fake Tan, stamp that out. Really, really pretty. And it is a little splotchy, but it will soak into the paper and be really, really smooth. So as you can see, you can see that it is still orange. So I'm just going to wipe it off with a baby wipe. Now, and this is a photopolymer stamp that I'm using. This is from MFT, I believe. I didn't even grab the package. Yeah, Simply Fab Sayings. So as you can see there, it might be a little stained, but it's still clear. It doesn't stain like the Simon Says Stamp ones. Okay, the next one is called Wild Rose. And here's the color. And I want to see if they're going to be true to the color on the labels, too. And so far, that fake tan does not look like it's um, true to the color on the cap. So this one is the Wild Rose, which is really pretty. Look at how gorgeous that is. So pretty. And you can see it is a little pink. So I'm just going to wipe it off with a baby wipe. Okay, and we'll see what it looks like after I dry it off. Not much staining, to be honest with you. Not that I have seen. Let's do the mermaid, which is this pretty light blue. So let me just grab some of that color here. Stamp that out. And it is splotchy, but it will dry um, solid. So look at how pretty that color is. I love that. So pretty. And I don't notice much of a discoloration with that blue at all, that mermaid. Okay. Now I'm just trying to dry it off with my hand. Let's um, do the freshly cut green grass which is this color here, which is really pretty. I love the color on this one, just from the lid. Okay, let's go ahead and stamp this one out. So there's the green. Love it. So pretty. Okay. Let's see what my stamp looks like. Still, not much staining at all. And when I'm done with these inks, I will show you how bad the Simon Says Stamp ones do stain. So let me just wipe this off. You can see, still looks really good. The next color, let's do the Cranberry. Okay. And I've noticed the Simon Says Stamp red inks really do stain. So let me just ink that up. And this one, like I said, is called Cranberry. 
And there's that really pretty color. It is a little splotchy, but as you can see, the other ones have smoothed out just by sitting on the cardstock. And you can see it is pink, so let's wipe it off and let's see how bad it stains. Okay. Maybe just a little, but not a lot. Okay, let's go to... Let's do the hippo, which is a gray. This is the color of this one. It's called hippo. Okay, I'm just going to ink up my stamp real quick. Go ahead and stamp this one out. It is a little splotchy, but like I said, they're all really smoothing out nicely. So there's the hippo color. Okay, and my stamp. wipe it off. So far I'm not seeing much staining at all to be honest with you. Not like the Simon Says Stamp inks. I, like I've said I have really noticed that with the Simon Says Stamp inks. This one is Walnut. So let's go ahead and stamp this one out. And I wanted to do more of a solid stamp. That way you could actually see the if it is um, staining your stamps or not. Ooh, I like that brown. Really cool brown. You can see that there. Okay, and you can see my stamp is a little stained, but let's just wipe it off. And like I said, I'm just using a regular baby wipe. Nothing, nothing special. Okay. So you might get a little, dis little staining, but Seriously, to me, that's not bad. But if you don't like your stain, stamps stained, then I don't think I would recommend using these dye inks. The staining is not bad, but I absolutely love these inks. This one is, I forgot to read the color. This is the blue, which is deep sea, which is a dark blue. Just slide these over to the side real quick so I can stamp this out. Ooh, very pretty, pretty navy blue. Love that. And here you can see my stamp is blue. But let's just go ahead and wipe that off. <clears throat> you are seeing that I am getting some color on the wipe, which is good. I mean, it's not staining the stamps bad. Okay. Now, I am going to stamp the black again in case if you missed my last video on my black comparisons. I just got ink all over my finger. Okay, let me just go ahead and stamp this one, which is called Black Licorice. My stamp really wasn't that dry either, so I should have dried it a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the Black Licorice. And there's the black. Okay, and you can see my stamp does have a little bit of staining on it, but let's just see how much that comes off. And I know you can use stamp cleaners, but, you know, I, I use stamp cleaners, but not a whole lot. So that's what my stamp looks like after it is completely um, wiped off with a baby wipe. I will compare it with another stamp that's never been stamped before, and you can see... There is really not a whole lot of staining. A little bit, but not a lot. So, one stamp cleaner that I have recently found that I like, and I'm going to go grab a Simon Says Stamp ink, just to kind of show you the comparison of how bad the other ones stain. Hang on a second. Okay. I just grabbed one off my shelf. I have found that this Simon Says Stamp Ultra Clean Stamp Cleaner is amazing. So, you can see I do have a little bit of staining, not a whole lot, with my um, Lawn Fawn inks. I'm just going to actually clean it off real quick with my stamp cleaner before I jump into using the Simon Says Stamp um, ink. And I tell you what, this ink cleaner, or the stamp cleaner, I love it. Okay. 
So there's the stamp cleaner. It maybe got it a little bit more clean than it was prior to cleaning with my baby wipe. But I will show you. Here's the schoolhouse red. Let me see if I can't open this up. So this is the Simon Says Stamp Schoolhouse Red. And this is a premium dye ink, just like the other inks that I have I used, which are the Lawn Fawn inks. And I'm just going to stamp it here off to the side. Okay. It's actually really comparable. Well, a little bit darker than that cranberry. But you'll see how red my stamp is right now. Just wipe it with my wipe. And it's still really red. So the Simon Says Stamp inks do really, really, really do stain your stamps. But that to me, that, that doesn't bother me. <coughs> I'm just going to grab some stamp cleaner to see if I can't get some of that cleaned off with this stamp cleaner. Let me grab a paper towel real quick. Okay, so with that stamp cleaner, it really does a great job of cleaning your stamps. It's not 100% clear, but it's a lot better than it would be. Um, just some of those Simon Says Stamp inks really do stain your stamps. Just like the, let's see if I can find it. I know the doll pink really does stain it. I'll just do this one really, really quick, guys. So here's the doll pink. stamp this out really quick and then I'll show you a quick comparison of all the colors with the lids since they've had a little bit of time to dry so there you can see my stamp still is pink just wipe it off with my wipe and I do have some of that stamp cleaner on here already just from the previous times that I've cleaned it and really to me that staining's not too bad compared to some of the other stamps that I have like if you use the archival ink, that really does stain it pretty good. So to me, the Lawn Fawn inks, they stain a little bit, but not bad. Not bad at all. Nothing too, you know, too bad. So let's do a quick comparison of the lids. So of course the blacks, really comparable. The deep sea blue is really comparable. My lighting is not that great tonight. There's the walnut, very comparable. Let's see here. I believe the next one's cranberry. A little bit darker than the lid. The hippo, a little bit lighter than the lid. This green, pretty close. Pretty close on that freshly cut grass. Here's the mermaid. A little bit darker, well, pretty comparable little bit lighter on the lid compared to what it's stamped in person. The Wild Rose, pretty, whoops, pretty comparable. Here's the Fake Tan, pretty comparable. And then the Sunflower, pretty comparable. So really the lid, lids on these are pretty comparable to the inks that they stamp out. So um, staining wise, I don't think it's too bad at all, um, not compared to some of the Simon's the Stamp inks, but you know if you'd use like an archival ink or something like that or even the black ink from Simon's the Stamp, that really does stain your stamps. So those are just the inks from Lawn Fawn and I hope this kind of helped you out just by seeing the colors and if it stains your stamps or not. It does a little bit, but not too bad. Nothing I wouldn't worry about. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.